What's that lurking in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Howdy, heartthrobs. It's been a while. I thought I'd come out today and do a little video, as none of us can go out camping currently. Um, no doubt you've seen a lot of videos, what's the best spork, what's the best cook's kit, what's the best bit of tent, pad, all this sort of stuff, because everyone's searching for content. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, and hopefully highlight the most versatile bit of kit you can have, both for wild camping, uh, bushcrafty type stuff, all round, really cheap, really versatile bit of kit. Which brings us to the humble British Army Basher. What I'll do, I'll do a few setups now, some that you may already know, some that you may not know, and give you some ideas, because you can't go out, why not get in the woods and practice a bit? First setup. So, as with every other tarp you get, you can set this up in a myriad of ways. Um, this is just a simple lean-to shelter, give you a bit of a canopy, you can sit back, lay underneath it, have a brew. That's hotter than the sun. There's loads and loads and loads of ways of setting this up for a tarp type shelter. But one of the ways not a lot of people use it as, even though there are plenty of instructionals on YouTube, is set up like this. The tarp tent. Um, although it isn't as big as a 3x3, because the thing isn't 3x3, I think it's 2.5 by 1.8 this one, not too sure, give or take around there, um, plenty in army surplus stores and crap like that, anyway, you can set this up just like a 3x3 tarp tent, I've slept in this on cliff tops, on hillsides, in the woods, if you're into your bushcrafty stuff and want to do a bit of a stealth camp, obviously the DPM helps, I've had me, my kit and two dogs in this, and I went out, in fact I put a little video up here of me and Johnny when he took a tent, I think it was one of his first camps and I used this up on a, a windy hillside, I had a great night's kit if I remember rightly it was Canelo versus Golovkin that night anyway, I digress the tarp tent right so, a couple of things where this really comes into its own um, with it being a military bit of kit one, it's bomb proof it's not the lightest thing in the world but it's also not drastically heavy. If you're out on the hills or out in the woods with a, a group when we're allowed to meet up in groups, if someone was to injure themselves, on both sides when this is folded in half, you have loops. There and there. And that is designed specifically for being used as a stretcher. So you can get four, six people around it and carry someone in and out of wherever they've hurt themselves to safety. You can also use it to cover people if they're on the deck, broken leg, all that sort of shizzle. Another really good thing in this sort of configuration where it's just folded in half, if you're a bushcrafty type bastard, fill it full of leaves, um, you know, all scraps around you, you've got yourself a mattress off the deck, keep you warm at night. A lot of uses so far, aren't there? What else we got? And here we have one of the simplest setups you could get yet one definitely one of the least used setups in fact i don't know of anyone else that does it other than me <laughs> really simple as you can see a couple of lines cut a couple of spreader bars onto your suspension boom you've got somewhere you can lay i'm not going to lay in this these spreader bars are just for effect they're rotten it will collapse or will get muddy never mind it's double layer so you can put a sleep pad underneath if you wish um yeah you can flip the bottom layer up and over give yourself a uh, top to cover you up what's not to like it's a bleeding bridge hammock from a 20 quid tarp or however much they are now now we have the stretcher bed another really 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 simple design this one has been thrown together i would never use it you can get it taut get straight bits of wood etc etc purely for me to show you what you can do a couple of a-frames basher folded in half down the open end where you've got the carrying handles tie all those up, thread the sticks through, place it down on the A-frame, it will stretch out into a stretcher bed. Now the good thing with these, if you get the right timber, stuff that isn't rotten, stuff that is straight, 
You can build the bed and have your you know, bed up to about here. You can then run a ridge line over the top of it or a ridge pole. Boom, when you've got your tarp on, everything is self-enclosed, a nice little shelter. Very similar to the uh, hammock setup. Really simple, really easy. Give it a go, eh? I'm sweating. Sweating like a madman. Anyhow, stretch your bed. So as you can see, there are loads and loads and loads of uses for a very inexpensive bit of kit that most of you will already have. Uh, things like the stretcher bed, if made right, you won't get a better night's sleep. Same with the hammock. Um, loads of other uses, carrying wood back to camp, covering up the body so no one can find it. You know, it, it's loads and loads. There are a couple of mentions I do want to dish out, so please do not go. Um, firstly, UK Carry Outdoors. Recently, some mongrel hacked her account and deleted all of her content. Now, if you don't know UK Carry Outdoors, you probably do, because she's flying, or was flying. Absolutely lovely lady, um, makes great videos, great cinematography. Go over, I'll put a link to her channel in the description below, or maybe up there, depends how many cards I've got left. Go give her a sub, show her some love. Ash Outdoors UK, although he is a bloody hippie that likes to meditate and eat bean curd and crap, he's also a lovely bloke. He has got something coming up shortly, um, so keep an eye on his channel. I believe, I don't know if he's mentioned it, what he's going to do, so I'm not going to mention it. If you are, Ash, just mention it in the comments and I'll pin it. Give him some support. I don't know if he's doing it for charity or anything, but it is a magnificent test. And good luck to you, mate. Seriously. And thirdly, this is unashamed, this. Comments really, really help the channel. And rather just one-liners, if you could give me the best usage of the word foosh, in the comments below, for example, Bruce, you ginger foosh, stop wearing my wife's underwear. That sort of thing. Comments below. Hopefully soon we'll be back out. I'm itching to get back out. I'm going to be doing a lot more bike camping. Hopefully just bought myself a new mountain bike. Um, I'm going to be doing some more walking, hopefully with Johnny, but he's got very soft feet. And lots more coming up. Unfortunately, the content's been very sparse recently because this sort of stuff, I ain't very good at. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll make it up as I go along. Anyway, until next time, ta -ra.